Uh, well, I have my two guests, Milton Yakundi as well as uh, Fred Arocho, uh, now joining me for this discussion. I just want to pick your brains quickly about uh, Kenya versus Rwanda uh, this afternoon at Nyayo Stadium. Uh, maybe I should start with you, Arocho. Karibu sana, Fred Arocho. Asante sana to skin kwa kunipa fursa hii. I think uh, uh, the match today, um, Kenya versus Rwanda, is a, is a dead rubber, if you ask me. Uh, it's just a match to make sure that uh, the fixture has been played. Though, looking at it from the Kenyan point of view, I think there's a lot that is happening um, outside the pitch that uh, might, ne might not necessarily uh, be positive for Kenya uh, in the pitch. The fact that uh, the team played in Uganda uh, under very uh, tight uh, kind of uh, conditions, you remember that uh, the Kenyan national, the, the, the Kenyan government took over the team uh, while they were playing in Uganda, uh, and then they came back. Uh, after that, there have been arrests. Uh, Nick Mwendo, the FKF president, was arrested, and all this for me is really distracting uh, the Kenyan uh, concentration in this match. But having said that, I, I think us as Kenyans, we just did us our, ourselves uh, in. Why am I saying so? Look at the, the, all the matches that we played. Other than the match that we played in Agadir, where we lost five goals, these other matches for me were matches that we could have picked good results. Look at the match that we played uh, against Uganda uh, the other, about four days ago. Uh, for me, that was a, a match that we could have won. Uh, the match that we lost against Mali in Nairobi, uh, for me, is another match that we could have won. Uh, if in any case I'm asked, I think in the last 20 or so years, this was the easy, easiest way for Kenya to the World Cup. And uh, we threw it out simply because of our own uh, selfish kind of uh, uh, attitude, our own chest thumping and, uh, and all that. Soccer for me is a game of bringing us together. It's not a game of uh, bringing differences. So it's, it's a rally call, if you ask me, uh, to, 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 to the... Uh, the FKF fraternity to the government and all stakeholders. Let's try and bring our, 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 the pressure down. Let's try and bring everybody together. Let's, let, let's converse. Let's talk to each other. Uh, we don't need to talk at each other as far as the game is concerned. Mm. Uh, profound uh, thoughts there, uh, friend uh, Arocho. Uh, if I may just ask Milton Yakundi, uh, the fact that this game is being played uh, against the backdrop of... Uh, uh, all the shenanigans we've seen, the FKF president um, uh, being taken to court uh, this morning. Uh, Milton, I've also seen with the, in the, in the standard newspaper uh, the question that where did it all go wrong for Arambe Stars because uh, when we began, uh, everyone thought that we had the best uh, shot, you know, a chance to go to Qatar, but now that has gone up in smoke, really. What should we say about this, Milton? Well, I, I honestly think that uh, we had the best chance, uh, just like everybody else thought. But at the end of the day, we bungled it up. We didn't get the results that we expected we would get. Uh, part of it has to do with fate, of course. At the end of the day, you cannot fight with that. <laughs> but uh, of course, the, the, uh, the Federation has to take uh, a lot of the flack for it, uh, changing coaches in between, bringing in uh, uh, Engin uh, Firat, uh, giving him a strange two-month contract uh, that expires in two days' time or thereabout. I, I think we, we, we had the best chance. At the end of the day, uh, we are where we are. What we need to do is to realize that, uh, and, and that we are in a hole and the best way to get out of a hole is to stop digging. So um, I, I, I thank uh, the government for what they have done because they realized that we were digging ourselves so deep into the hole and uh, they, they, they have said, hey, we, we have to deal with it. So we stop digging, then we make things better. And I hope, uh, I, I do hope that uh, what uh, the administrative decisions that have been taken will then give us the opportunity to turn the corner and be able to write things. But be as it may, I want to wish our, our boys all the best. All the time they are going out there, they are putting their best foot forward, and I hope that uh, national pride will prevail at the end of the day. 
all may be lost in the context of the World Cup uh, qualification. But I don't, I, I believe that nothing is lost in terms of uh, our national pride and the boys can play for the badge and we will be there to support them and give them all that they need in terms of motivation, the morale boost that uh, will at the end of the day give us the, uh, the status and confirm that we are indeed the big boys of East Africa. It is a good thing that we've not lost to any of these uh, uh, small boys uh, as it were. <laughs> And, and, yeah. and I, I, I really hope that uh, they can win today. Winning today will be a new dawn, the beginning of a new journey, the beginning of uh, uh, a, 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 a trajectory that will be good for the country, I hope. And it is the um, pride of our, of our nation, uh, if, if you'd say, uh, Robin. Yeah. If Arambe Stars wins, everybody is happy, we will be happy if they win tonight. Uh, uh, we just hope that uh, game will uh, <clears throat> bring back, you know, the kind of smile you are saying. <clears throat> Sorry. Now, in battle, uh, Football Kenya Federation uh, President Nick Mwendo and his Secretary General Barry Otieno will be heading to the courts uh, this morning. And I want uh, to believe that uh, that process has started. And uh, Fred Arocho, we, we didn't ex expect this kind of thing when uh, uh, Nick Mwendo was elected president of the uh, Football Kenya Federation. But now we are at this point, as Milton says, and uh, as the reports are coming in, that uh, Nick Mwendo should be now heading to the court uh, this morning. W w what does this say, uh, uh, Arocho, of us as a country? Well, it, it's quite unfortunate. Uh, it's, not, it's quite unfortunate, just to say the least. Um, it is something that uh, was not expected. I, I, I still believe that uh, Nick Mwendo was, was elected on a platform of change. Uh, he's someone who brought a lot of uh, confidence back into the game. Um, uh, he brought a lot of steam, uh, the youthfulness and, uh, and all that. But uh, unfortunately, what has happened has happened. Uh, and I believe that this should be a learning lesson to not only soccer, but uh, all the other fraternities. Uh, because I think sports in this country has been, uh, has been used, for, for, for lack of a, of a better word, has been used uh, to, 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 to do other things other than sports. Uh, there are still allegations uh, because it's a court process and uh, I really would, would like to keep off uh, that, 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 that conversation as at now because it's a, it's a court process. But look at the fact that FIFA is also responding. Uh, early today, FIFA, through the Secretary General, uh, did a statement of, of the same. And uh, FIFA feels that uh, uh, CS Amina has contravened some uh, FIFA statutes and CAF statutes. Uh, in, if I may quote uh, Article 14, mm -hmm. uh, Cap 1 of uh, CAF statutes, and Article 19, Cap 1 of FIFA statutes, uh, the, the good lady is explaining herself, and she feels that uh, the fact that the minister has appointed a, a committee is contravening all, all that. But I, I'm going back. The minister of sports, um, C.S. Amina, did uh, communicate with uh, uh, Infatino about a month or, or so back, informing Infatino of uh, what was happening in Kenya. And uh, in fact, the, minister, the, the C.S., I wanted to have a, a session with uh, uh, FIFA then, and FIFA did not respond. And, uh, and I think uh, CS Amina's action has prompted this response, uh, because initially when she communicated to FIFA and told FIFA that things were not right, uh, some malpractice, uh, financial malpractices uh, were being observed in Kenya, FIFA did not respond. Uh, so, so I think this is a catch-22 for FIFA, for both FIFA and, uh, and, uh, and, and the government, uh, because conversations must begin. And I'm so happy that uh, uh, she indicated that she would like to communicate to Kenya uh, as, a, as a country and uh, start the process of, of healing uh, the game in, in this country. But, but, but all said and done, I, I think as, as a fraternity, we need to come together. Uh, time has come where uh, we must sit and converse as a fraternity. That is FKF, the guys who have uh, been given the mandate to run the game, uh, the referees, the coaches, the fact that um, even, even the players uh, have not even attended an SGM 
uh, the players' representative uh, in, in this country has not, even in the election, they didn't vote. So this can tell you that there is a problem. Uh, the referee's um, uh, representative did not vote in the previous election. Even the coach uh, fraternity in this country did not vote. For me, this is an ample time for us to even start something I called a constitution review. I believe that the FKF constitution is part of this problem because a lot of uh, powers have been vested in the president. Look at the fact that even the committee, the FKF committee, they rarely meet. I was with one of the committee members, uh, and I'm not going to mention his name. Uh, he told me that the last time they met is about two, three months ago. They have not been meeting, and yet money has been moving left, right, and center from the Federation. This tells you that the checks and balances yeah. uh, within the Federation uh, coming up with the, uh, being formulated by, by, by the Constitution are not there. So me, I'm championing for something I call a constitutional review. The current Constitution of FKF has vested a lot of uh, powers onto the President. He can make decisions without consulting anyone. And time for that uh, to happen is long gone. Yeah. Uh, and, and Milton, maybe uh, the rest of the country is, uh, you know, grappling to understand uh, FIFA's uh, stance on this because FIFA have written to say that uh, Kenya should reconsider and this, uh, the sports minister should reconsider the stand she took by appointing that caretaker committee. Now, oh, Kenyans feel that this is a corruption matter. But FIFA are saying this is uh, this uh, management uh, matter, and that Kenya have actually contravened the FIFA um, uh, statutes. Could, could you please just draw a line between the two, if if they should be one? Um, first of all, Robin, I, I have maintained the position that uh, FIFA has no reason whatsoever to prefer sanctions against Kenya because uh, due process has been followed and uh, if you read uh, uh, Article 2, 3, 4 and 5 of the FIFA statutes, they talk about the same values that uh, the Kenyan people have entrenched in Article 10 of the Constitution. So in terms of uh, uh, FIFA taking a decision, I believe, and, and that is the basis upon which um, you've seen the correspondence from FIFA, even when they, they try to suggest that, uh, you know, the Kenyan government is uh, overacting and, 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 and going beyond what it is supposed to do. At the end of the day, the, the letter that we have seen this morning and what we saw last week uh, still speaks to the same thing, that they are saying we are willing to engage. And that should be the spirit. That is the spirit of the FIFA principles of governance and uh, the principles of governance that the Kenyan people have given themselves under Article 10. So that being said, I have no fear, I have uh, no uh, doubt in my mind that uh, FIFA will engage with government and there is no sanctions that will come uh, Kenyan, Kenya's way. But uh, that said, uh, Robin, I, I think we, we, we must be able to put everything in the right context. What are we talking about? FIFA is, and, and I say this without fear of contradiction, Robin, FIFA is an international NGO registered under Swiss law. So to that extent, FIFA has to subscribe, just like FKF, to national laws of the country where they are domiciled, just like FKF are domiciled in Kenya. So what takes precedence, and, and we have a decision uh, from the case in Ghana, I think sometime in 2018, and uh, our, our High Court uh, made a decision in, in uh, sometime last year when uh, Justice Paulinia Moya said that FIFA is not a state. And that is what we must be able to understand. The matters that Kenya is dealing with are criminal by nature. And criminal matters can only be dealt with by institutions of a sovereign state. Even if FIFA were to find today that there is a problem with the finances, issues to do with movement of money, issues to do with corruption, issues to do with embezzlement of funds are criminal by nature and only states have the capacity and the ability to deal with those issues. So FIFA cannot therefore now turn around and say 
that uh, when Kenya, which is a state, a sovereign state, is investigating matters that are within their jurisdiction, FIFA cannot interfere because by uh, dint of their existence, they are an NGO which is subject to laws of state. Mm -hmm. uh, Robin, today, if, if uh, uh, I'm accusing you of killing anybody, I will not be the complainant. When that charge sheet is done, it is the state versus Robin Toskin on matters of criminal nature. Yes. So that must be understood very well so that we get the context right. And that is why I still maintain anybody fear-mongering, anybody who thinks that this country will, is under trial, Kenya is not under trial. It is the individuals who are facing criminal charges. And I welcome... Uh, what my friend Fatma has done, saying that uh, she's willing to engage with the CS, uh, uh, her colleague and friend for many years, they're both diplomats, worked for the United Nations and uh, in diplomatic circles, they have been together, they are going to engage in a video conference to ensure that the issues at hand are resolved so that at the end of the day it is not Kenyan football that will suffer it is the individuals mm -hmm. who are culpable for the uh, you know malfeasance that we have seen the bad governance we have seen so that they are brought to justice and I want to reiterate even when I have been on the front line advocating for Nick Mwendwa leaving FKF I still uh, believe in the rule of law and Article 27 of the Constitution talks about everybody being entitled to equal treatment before the rule of law. And so, uh, I, I mean, at, at the end of the day, Nick Mwendwa and his colleagues, uh, including Barry Otieno, they are in custody. They are going to court today. My expectation is that they are still innocent until proven guilty and exactly. they will be given the opportunity to defend themselves and they will be treated fairly before the rule of law as article 27 of our constitution exactly. guarantees but, but at even, the end of the day Robin, that happens, it's about due process even if that happens still kenyans are struggling to, to, to get that, uh, the, that uh, difference between uh, FIFA and, and, uh, and, and the sports ministry, what they have said. Because uh, there's uh, uh, some information here, somebody just commented here saying that, uh, uh, that while he understands the concerns about government interference, FIFA's concerns about government interference, that in Kenya we are also increasingly getting concerned about FIFA's interference in good governance. And when you look at the, the press release that was issued by CAF yesterday, they made a very interesting uh, comment, and they said this, that uh, CAF is committed to good governance in African football administration. This is a press release they were talking about, uh, they, they, they were weighing in on the developments in Kenya. Now, Arocho, if all of us are talking about uh, the need or the desire for good governance, then why are we here? Why, why, why is it that uh, we, can, we, we can't agree with FIFA? Well, I think I talked about it. Uh, for me, it lies with our constitution. Uh, that is the FKF constitution. It is the document that helps uh, govern the game in, in the country. Uh, and I think the, the authors of this constitution, uh, I beg to, uh, to differ with them. Why am I saying so? Look at that constitution. 70 to 80 percent of the constitution is talking about the president. The president of the federation has been given a lot of powers. The checks and balances in that constitution are not there. The fact that uh, the executive has, has not met uh, for the last uh, two or three months, for me, um, uh, says a lot. There must be checks and balances. Now, <clears throat> referring to your uh, initial an uh, analogy, uh, I'll, 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 I'll give you an example of Egypt. The entire executive of the Football Association in Egypt resigned uh, in 2019. What happened? FIFA, in collaboration with the government, formed a normalization committee. The moment that uh, the, 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 the executive can no longer uh, execute their mandate uh, due to one reason or the other, 
uh, like for what I'm talking about in Egypt, where they all resigned. What happened? FIFA, uh, in collaboration with the government, comes in and comes up with a, 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 an executive or something to, to, to help uh, govern the game. And if you look at that executive in Egypt, it has been, the mandate of the executive has been renewed twice. Since 2019, we are in 2021, they were given the first one year, uh, they performed, they, 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 they're doing some sort of a, a review of their constitution, and uh, they requested for more time to make sure that that happens. So, in, in our case, I, I think FIFA is just trying to make sure that they are also involved in, 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 in whatever kind of uh, committee that is coming up. Uh, because going by what uh, Fatma has said in her letter, I, I think she feels left out uh, in this process. Because FIFA believes that any football process that is done in any member state, they have to be involved. So I think the conversation... No, but then that letter was uh, way back there. That was October 18th. That's what they are saying. That Which letter are you referring to? Letter from I'm talking Mexico about the letter that uh, has yeah. just come in about few 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 hours. Uh, yes, in, in the I've seen that. But uh, the fact is, the sports uh, CS uh, Ambassador Amina actually wrote the letter way back uh, October 18th. Yes, but there was no response response to that until this morning. That is what I talked about uh, earlier. I talked about the first letter that uh, uh, Madam Amina uh, sent to FIFA. There was no response. After F uh, Madam uh, Amina has constituted a committee is when FIFA came in. For me, it was just a way of prompting FIFA uh, to react. Because FIFA at times, uh, they feel that they don't communicate. In fact, they don't communicate to anybody else other than the Federation. Um, I think something is happening. It's good that the conversation has begun. The conversation, and I believe that uh, Fatuma will come back to Kenya. I was so disappointed when she came to Kenya about a month ago. Nyakundi, you'll help me there. And Fatuma never met any government official. official. It, it was, it was baffling actually. Because he never, she never met any journalist. And this is where I feel that FIFA is not being told exactly what's happening in Kenya. Because Fatuma was here when uh, uh, Vihiga Queens uh, emerged winners in the, the regional uh, tournament that was held here about a month or so back. But it was quite surprising that F Madam uh, Fatuma never met the journalists. N Madam Fatuma never met the government. <laughs> she, she, was, she was shielded uh, this, from the journalists. Of course, uh, you know we have so many questions. And, 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 and you see, to. Robin, that, that has been the one-sided conversation that uh, we are talking about. The secretary general of FIFA cannot be in the country and, and, and not even uh, have a press conference. I mean, it was baffling, like you said. But that is what are under the bridge. And, and I want to believe that right now we can be able to get ourselves to have a proper conversation. We have been, and I, I, I have said this, and tomorrow I, we, we are going back to the Senate. Senator Mutula Kilonzo, the questions that we have even had uh, from our politicians, the ideas, the sentiments, are because they only have one side of the story. Nobody has listened or seen or acquainted themselves with the facts. And that is why I have sounded like a broken record. But until the report has come out, and I hope Kenyans will be able to read and see the issues as they are, then you get ashamed that uh, this has been happening and people have been thinking that uh, all was good at Kananda House. It was not well. So what is important, and that is my clarion call, it is my mantra, let us have a conversation with ourselves, let us right the wrongs that are happening. And I'm glad that, uh, like Fred has pointed out, that for the first time, the Secretary General of FIFA has written to the CS. I initially we were seeing letters addressed to the CEO of FKF, but today the letter that has come out is addressed to the CS, and that is what we want to see. Nobody wants to throw, uh, you know, the baby with the bath water. We are saying, let us have a conversation, let us fix our football, let us talk as people who know what is right and what we are supposed to do. The interest here must be Kenyan football. The interest here must be the but, Kenyan but, but player. Milton, how would that interest be, be, be resolved or uh, 
uh, you know, the problem solve. When uh, just over the weekend, uh, we, we saw a flurry of uh, political comments, and uh, the whole thing has now been turned uh, into a political contest. Well, uh, and, and, some and, and, politicians and, and, say well, that. Well, uh, uh, Robin, Ro Robin, I have to say this, and I had to issue a statement myself and say, politicians must keep off. Yes. They yes. have to. Yes. And I, 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 I say this, and we are, not miss, we are not missing our words. And Fred agrees with me. Politicians, please, when we have been fighting, you have not been there. When, when Fred has been running his voice hoarse on, on the airwaves, you guys have not been commenting. Today, just because you feel this matter is now becoming a national issue, you want to comment about it. Yeah, Please. but they have the role. The Please, have the role. allow us. Toskin. Allow us. Let, let allow, me hear from allow, Marocho. Let allow me hear the from CS, Marocho. Allow the CS to do yeah. her job. Allow the Kenyan people to speak. We sent you to parliament. You passed laws when they are being implemented. Please give us a break. Don't comment about this now. <laughs> Well, and in the manner that you're I'll, doing I, it. I, I, I might share his uh, sentiments, uh, yes. Nyakundi's sentiments, but I, I'm toning down. Um, I, I think uh, our leaders deserve also to talk about issues. But they I must so. be conversant. They, be able to they must be conversant with what is happening. Exactly. Uh, let's saw, spe let them speak to facts. Yes, they, let's, let them speak to facts. I saw uh, the senator of Nairobi talking about football. He didn't have his facts. I, I saw Mutula Kilonzo uh, talking in the Senate. You don't have your facts. Guys, before you speak about football, get to get the facts. Because you cannot wake up and say that uh, the moment um, uh, the, the CS puts up a, a, a committee, FIFA will ban us. It is a process. Uh, it's not an event. FIFA will not just wake up one early morning. And uh, Matthew uh, Toskin, the current FIFA is not the FIFA for Blatter. FIFA, when Blatter was there, was giving instructions. They were giving you seven days to comply or else you, they ban you. But the current FIFA, Infantino FIFA, is an engaging FIFA. It's a FIFA that listens. And that's why you see that the letters from FIFA are somehow, for some of us who have seen letters from FIFA, when uh, the Kasuves uh, were the head of football in this country, the late Hartman was the head of football in this country, they were quite uh, very strong uh, sentiments. Guys, Committees running football, this is not the first committee. We've had several committees running football because of the chaos that have been there. We had uh, uh, Adam Skarauri, uh, the former assistant minister. There's a time that he headed a, a, a caretaker committee. Yes. We had uh, Kipchoge Keino. He's headed a community in this country. But we he, had hasn't, he hasn't helped anything. No, the point I'm would... trying to bring here is yeah. this. You know, when I saw it in the Senate, when somebody wakes up and say football will stop simply because order is being brought, surely you need to... Uh, I'll give you an example, Toskin. Mm. These senators who are talking should go to the ground and make a conversation with clubs down there. F money was given. I'm not going to mention the, the, the company that gave money. For football, for, for, for clubs to be financed in a one way or the other, in counties, millions were given. Not even a coin has gone to Elgeo Maraquet. Not even a coin has gone to Kisumu or even Voi. The point I'm trying to bring is, before you, uh, you as a senator wakes up and make a conversation on, on TV, you need to talk to your people. Have they received money that is meant for those clubs down there? And, 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 and Robin, and this, this informs why yes. I, as, I, as I made a request. Your, as you make your final comments. I uh, made a request to appear time, before yeah. the Senate committee, and I took the evidence. And we are saying, this cannot be a one-size-fits-all jacket. So that everybody, just because football is popular, uh, when a matter comes up and senators and members of parliament are talking about it, we must be able to look at the facts for what they are. Robin, I want to say this categorically, mm. that let everybody play their role. Let everybody do so from a point of information and with the best interest of Kenyan football at heart. Thank you, Mito. And at the end of the day, Robin, yeah. I, I do not need to be rewarded. Fred does not need to be rewarded. You do not need to be rewarded as long as you are doing the right thing. This, and I'm going to use your platform to say very, very stern words, let everybody 
play their role. And, we and must I, stop the hope, monkey uh, the business. Will so also we must stop the monkey uh, business that we have Milton. become accustomed to yeah. as a people. Robin, CS, do your job. Members of parliament, do your job. Robin, do your job. The, the media has done, Milton, uh, the media has done its part, and that is why we are seeing all uh, the movement. Precisely, today. Fred. Continue and, uh, talking I, I about want, it. I want to just to uh, quickly take uh, Arocho, your final word, just in 10 well, seconds. Well, my final word is just to uh, uh, plead to uh, our leaders. Before you talk, get your facts. Uh, I, I'm not, I, I, I've not really uh, prosecuted anywhere, anyone on this. For me, I feel that Kenyan soccer is bigger than any, anybody else. Kenyan soccer will be there, all of us will go. But you have to speak to facts. Once again, nobody wants anybody to, to anybody who's innocent uh, to be prosecuted or go through the, the, the legal process. I believe that the legal process in this country is quite able to handle what we are seeing at the moment. Okay. My last call, Harambe Stars, I believe in you. I have always believed in Harambe Stars even when we lose. I know today we are going to win. And for me, it's a new beginning. We are, we, are, we, are, we are championing a new beginning for the team. Because this is not the end of the game. Once sure. we are done with Rwanda, I believe that we will not have a lot of assignments between now and uh, the end of the year. But subsequently, we are going to get friendlies. And we will pick up once again Harambe Stars, Olunga and, uh, and Group. I know you're going to do it today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Kudos to the Milton, boys. Let them Milton do it for us. Kundi and uh, Fred Arocho, uh, those uh, really... Uh, profound thoughts on Kenyan football. We just hope that uh, uh, a solution will be uh, found any time from now because FIFA have started engaging the Kenyan government and we are happy that Fatma Samura finally has reached out to the Kenyan government so that they try to break this impasse. Uh, uh, so we hope uh, all will be uh, okay with Kenyan football. But then this afternoon, Arambe Stars will be taking on Rwanda. I would like uh, to call upon all Kenyans to really rally behind that team so that uh, they get their footing back because there are so many other uh, assignments that will be coming ahead of them. This has been Sports Chat and I'm Robin Toskin. Until next Monday, please always keep it KTN.